Hey guys, welcome to Kinematics Practice Part 3. Let's begin. Acceleration is a vector quantity and can be calculated by dividing the change in velocity by the change in time. Acceleration is the rate at which velocity is changing. When there is no acceleration, velocity is constant. So you'll do questions 14 and 16, and I will help you with question 15. It's also incomplete. So a car accelerates for 65 seconds until it reaches 135 kilometers per hour. What was its starting velocity? The acceleration you need to add is 2 meters per second squared. So in this case, I have units of second. Oh, and we're going to use the equation. Acceleration equals v, which is final velocity, minus u, initial velocity, divided by time. We need to plug in for our givens, and first thing you'll notice is I have 65 seconds, 135 kilometers per hour, acceleration is 2 meters per second squared. Rather than convert this to hours, this to kilometers per hour squared, we're just going to start by converting the V, which is this 135 kilometers per hour. We will end up converting that final velocity to meters per second. So to do that, I have 135 kilometers per hour. Set up your train tracks. In one kilometer, there are, do you remember how many meters? A thousand, 10 to the third meters. And now I need to cancel my hour units. So I'm here in hours up top and in one hour, there are 60 times 60, 3,600 seconds. So you can see here my kilometers will cancel, my hours will cancel, and I'll be left in meters per second, so I can use this acceleration without changing it, and I can use these 65 seconds without changing them. So let's get my final velocity, V, uh, 135 times 1,000 times... 10 to the third divided by 3600 and I get 37.5 meters per second and now we can plug into the equation uh, and we need to solve for u we're looking for u so I'm going to rewrite this equation to solve for u let me see make some space here I'll multiply this equation by t on both sides so I get a times t equals v minus u. I'll add u to both sides and then subtract a times t. So u equals v minus acceleration times time. We're looking for u, so we plug in everything else. My final velocity is this 37.5 minus the acceleration, 2 meters per second squared, times 65 seconds. And I get um, an initial velocity of negative 92.5 meters per second. So what this means is that the car was traveling with this speed in the negative direction and experienced a positive acceleration until it came to a stop and then was traveling in the positive direction at 37.5 meters per second. Okay, you do number 14 and number 16. I'll meet you for part four.